it's not perfect. It doesn't, sometimes there's thumbs in, you know, in the corner of the, of the camera. Sometimes kids trip over their words or call the person they're interviewing by the wrong name, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's unique, it's authentic, and um, I love that people are responding to it. My name is Darcy Mayers, and I am the founder and executive producer of Marblehead Youth News. Marblehead Youth News is a new show run by kids, for kids, and everybody else in our little community. They, um, the kids do everything from pitching the stories, to shooting the stories, to running the cameras. I have three kids who play a lot of sports, very competitive athletes with really demanding crazy schedules. And I was looking for something that they could do that was creative and with their brains that um, would fit in with their their nutty schedule and mine. I knew that we had the television studio here in town, which is pretty awesome, and the two just sort of came together in my brain and I thought, hey, we should do um, a new show. It started about a year and a half ago. The kids age in their range from about eight years old to about 14 years old. A show entirely run by kids gets done. <laughs> Sometimes the whatevers go on and on and on and never quite get done. But these kids are really committed to cranking out a show every month. They do the work. They do the work required before they come in the studio. They do the writing of the scripts. They rehearse. They know how to read the teleprompters. They have their field pieces done and edited. And it's all done. It's great. These kids are professionals. There's no other way to put it. They get to decide what stories they're going to tell. They get to decide when they're going to tell them. They are in control and you know when you're a little kid there's not a lot that you are in control of all the time. They have to talk to a grown-up, they have to look at a grown-up in the eye and they have to sell themselves and their story. There is no way a kid can walk out of that experience without feeling better about themselves. When we do stories we do usually more than one so the first one's a little bit scary and I'm not sure if I'm going to do it well, but the next time I know what to say and I think I'm going to do just fine. The biggest thing it's taught me is to like give something a try because like I said I didn't think this was going to end up having many people and now my friends are doing it and I actually really like it and I might be a reporter someday so it's really cool. So they're thinking about what and, what and how to ask questions, which I think long term will be great for them not to be intimidated by you know, digging deeper into subjects or at, uh, being afraid to stand up and, and ask. So it's kind of cool from that perspective. Once you finish it, it's just like one three minute script and then it turns into this TV show. Like maybe a thousand people are watching from our Marblehead. It really gives you the confidence to do it more and more and more so more people get connected to you. Being involved with Marblehead Youth News for both kids has really been um, a big confidence booster. Um, it's exposed them to sort of a world outside of their usual school and sports um, and I think it gives them a taste of what the future could be or what they might want to be involved in. They're bombarded with media. I mean, any parent will tell you they're, they're, they're being shot advertisements and things in multiple ways, for, on the internet, on their phones, on video games, and on TV, obviously, um, all, all over the place. When they started to choose which stories were going to be covered for that month, they started to recognize how some stories rise to the top and others don't. They became naturally more critical of all the media around them. Well, when I first came, I thought it was going to be like a desk and a bunch of cameras and like papers and stuff but then we got here and there were like computers and teleprompters and stuff. It taught me that like the anchors don't have their scripts like memorized and that there are like lots of mistakes that happen and it takes a while to do. I want kids to walk out of every taping or every story that they've filmed on location or edited being so incredibly proud of themselves that, that they made that happen, that they took an idea from just a little spark of an idea all the way to completion. I want them to feel like they did that, that they owned it, that it's theirs, and no one can change that. 